Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 36 of this Let's Play Stellaris as the United Oathsworn. We are, of course, at war with the Zaplo Continuum. They are a fallen empire. I have closed stuff in the background. I got some new rendering software yesterday, actually, which I'm pretty chuffed about. And that actually allows me to pause a render. So I have paused that stuff, and hopefully things will run a little more smoothly now. Or maybe not. <laughs> There's a bit of movement. Construction complete. Yeah, that's definitely a bit smoother. Are we actually, you know, attacking, guys? We should be. I'm not seeing us doing any damage, though. Oh, here we go. We're shooting their fleet that's coming in. How are they doing? Not particularly well. Battle cruisers. They didn't last very long. Now we're shooting at their things. We've removed the shields from both of them. These guys at the back shooting as well. I think they're just taking longer to react. So this is this is good to know. Corvettes and destroyers move much much quicker than cruisers and especially battleships. Battleships take a long time to get into position. What are these guys? Law speaker, destroyers. Destroyers are meant to be my front line. Situation hmm. log updated. There we go, one dead. Situation log updated. That one's gonna die soon. Situation log dead. Updated. And that one will go. Here we go. Here comes their first twenty three thousand fleet. Which I think we're actually gonna beat to smithereens. Have they sent any more anywhere? Does not look like it, no. Oh yeah, this is definitely much smoother now. How's this guy doing? They're hammering away at the hull now. A lot of my auto cannons and things have closed closely, close enough to actually open fire. We are now out of credits. Situation log updated. Is that one dead? We do of course have science ship that we could go and That's bring in to grab all of this debris. Leaving my big ships behind. Guys, go on. What's that? Avatar. Situation log updated. It's a dead avatar. Oh, these are just popping. Situation updated. We just brought too many ships to the fray, haven't we? There we go, so you can get a bit better angle. Make it a little more cinematic for you. The mighty Oath Sworn fleets. Yeah, you can see my uh, disruptors there. I've got blue ones and green ones depending on the uh, level of the ship. Hitting away at their shields, like these guys. Avatar class, 1000 shields, 70 armor, 53% mitigation, 2300 mitigation. I mean, they're hurting us. We have lost 75 worth of ships now, but it's still nothing compared to what they're losing. Let's see if we can find one of our battleships just to compare strength of our battleships. So, our battleships have military power of 1294 to their 1,393, 3,200 hull to 2,300 hull, but they do have a 1,000 shields, which we do not. We have 45% armor mitigation, they have 53%, and does it say DPS? It does not say DPS. Okay. Missiles. What ships do I have there? Missiles. Didn't think I had it. Oh, it's my ally. Hello. Whoever that is. Kormasa. Welcome to the fight. Is it Kormasa that's actually kind of taking the brunt of this now? Because most of my fleet just seems to be kind of chilling. Join the fight! Let's go! Yeah, it's definitely Kormasa that's kind of taking the brunt here. 
cruisers and my corvettes have gone up. My destroyers and battleships are like, nah. We're cool. We'll just sit back here. It's fine. It's fine. A rather beaten up ring world there. Or whatever that is. Down to 18 military strength. Oh, just look at their shields just vanish. And their hit points don't do much better. If we scroll up to the top then you'll see some of ours going down. Oh yeah, they destroy ours much quicker. Oh, that's all of our destroyers going down. I did beef them up a little. Clearly not enough. Kormasa is about to go. With its single, what was that, battleship I think? Probably. We're down to 108 military power. 108,000 military power, should I say. <laughs> Their battle cruisers are doing pretty, pretty well. They are starting to go down. It's just because like my big guns are closed distance, really. Unless they are shooting. Nope. So is there actually a difference in speed? Yes, one. Point three. Interesting. I'll need to take that into more account. Here we go, here. Battleships are getting into range now. These are their big guns on the top. They're long, long range. They should actually be doing really, really strong against theirs. Yeah, here we go. These are the big guns in range now, really beating away at the enemy. Our destroyers are suffering quite badly. We're down to 863 military power. I don't think we've lost any battleships yet. The destroyers have lost quite a few. Corvettes have lost about 60. But here we go. Their battle cruisers definitely. As soon as our battleships got into range, it was game over. That little skirmish that was happening at the start didn't really do anything. But that's really interesting because you definitely want your destroyers and your corvettes equipped with uh, anti shield weaponry. Okay, science ship. You have work to do here, my friend. I want to see the kind of tech that we get from this. And you need to destroy that. We need to go back to our previous vision. And what else? We need our armies to come in. planet is not going to last very long. Admiral leveled up. Three times. <laughs> Our Admiral got a lot of experience out of that fight apparently. His rate of fire is now going to be plus 45 percent. And our physics also finished. Shield hit points kind of pointless for us. Better uh, hyper shields. Take hyper shields. Alright, Eternal Bastion will be down very, very soon, so I think we can probably start sending you guys onwards to the next fight. Though so they have just landed with a 4,000 man fleet here, but I think now that we've taken out that 20,000 fleet we will have a somewhat easier time of things. Alright. Hostile fleet engaged. Here we go. Another fight. Hostile fleet engaged. Poor ship. Oh, they nail these front guys. What are they? What are they? These corvettes, lawmakers. Yeah, lawmaker or corvettes, weren't they? So they basically one-shot corvettes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Incoming transmission. Migration access, sure. And there go my vast. Sorry, my allies' rockets. No, my vassals' rockets. Streaming overhead. Hitting the shields out here. Now here come the these as these guys get close the disruptors should start shooting. 
Yeah, there they go. Disruptors have started. That means their shields will start disappearing. And then when these guys get into range, that's when the rail guns and the auto cannons and all the other actually hard hitting weaponry will start to fire, especially from the battleships back here. See them firing yet? Not yet, but you can really see the auto guns going. There you go. All of that stuff. Burr, burr, burr. That's that fleet dealt with. Let's take that fleet down, shall we? And then that one. Oh, and we've started the invasion too. Which we may lose because they actually managed to build up some more fortification. Kind of looks like we are going to lose. Their ground armies are rather strong. Yeah, we're hardly hitting them. Hostile fleet engaged. We'll go back off from that. And you guys need to go and restore your strength. Let's bring you back to friendly space and start you off on that process. Meanwhile, promising officer Captain Feldim de Rotherog. This is Rotherog again. The commanding officer of the OHS Logard Dogal 5 served with distinction during the recent engagement that took place on the Beacon of Stability system. The Admiralty of Ursula Prime, recognising the qualities of a promising flag officer, has decided to promote the captain to the rank of full admiral. Cool. How strong is he? Leaders, admirals. Plus 10% evasion. Less FTL. No, he's rubbish. So before we head off to the next system, we need to start bombarding more. That planet healed up rather quickly. And that's my science ship. Oh. Oh, this is a dead ring cloud. Um, sorry, not ring cloud. Ring world thing. The other one has far more. So we need to destroy the eternal... Oh, the eternal bastion is this side of the ring. I see. Is that why it was so difficult for us to get through? Well, have you healed up? I think you've healed up. So you need to come over here and get ready for attempt number two. Our fleet's taken a bit of a beating, but nothing, I would say, critical just yet. 99 corvettes, 78 destroyers. So are my cruisers faster than my destroyers or something? 0.7, 1, 0.5. No. You seem to have taken damage. Ah, debris, analyzed. Nothing. We got nothing. That's not acceptable. Right, let's try that assault again then, shall we? Alright, let's try that again. That does mean that the Beacon of Infinity will be rather hard to take. Alright, off they go. The battle has begun again. Now they're taking a lot more damage. Our guys didn't recover. They were showing me that they were on full health. Well, I think we'll win this time.
Well, we can leave them on the planet to recover for a time. Mandate unfulfilled. Oh, the king, the emperor died. Imperator Veldrum Denperium. Ruler election. Aha, so I can pick between them. Or I... Well, that will cost me 200 influence, but I have influence. Leader skill levels, leader recruitment costs, uh, edicts, or ship cost, army cost, and energy credits. Um, that's a really difficult choice. Not. Alright, we have a new emperor. And this place is about to fall, I think. So our armies are on very, very low life. Some more than others. It's paused. Their armies are beginning to disintegrate. It's just the garrisons left. May lose one. We didn't. Not quite. We still have 12 regiments there. Okay, victory was ours. So, onwards to the next one, eh? Off we go. Because of hyperlanes, I can warp from anywhere. Starvation, Warrior's Grove. Unacceptable. Whoa. That's more defences. Lots more. I think I need, just in case, you know, just in case. Oh, except I can't afford them because we're losing a bunch of minerals because we have a, a ton of ship maintenance. I really want you guys to catch them before they warp off. Because I suspect they're going over here. Hostile fleet engaged. Really? Oh, you didn't catch them, did you? No. Alright, we need to run away with our science ship. Run away to here. Hostile fleet engaged. Meanwhile, our armies are recovering on the ground there. Alright, so what are we engaging? Hostile fleet engaged. This is going to be a huge fight. 44 against 105,000. So, once again, the Corvettes going in first, basically getting one-shotted, or maybe two-shotted actually, but they're dropping out of the sky like flyers regardless. It's hitting me from behind. Oh, they came back. Interesting. They decided to hit me again from behind. In that case, continue. Looks like my allies have had the same idea. To try and get some of this juicy, juicy... Oh, there we go. Data analysis. Tachyon Lair Lancers. Sorry, Tachyon Lancers. Zero point power. Neutronium materials. Hyper shields. Physics research. Engineering research. Yeah, quite a lot from that. And that's not even the big fight. How many days do I have left? Oh, loads. Alright, back to this fight. Because this is kind of the critical one, I think. Hostile fleet engaged. Odds are still on our favour, apparently, but they have hit us from two sides, so our battleships are distracted. Though these guys are going to get an absolute plastering. Thankfully I do have a couple of cruisers over there with their anti-shield defences. Their shields are now being completely knocked out, I think. Yep, and they are now collapsing very, very quickly. And that will then allow our battleships to turn around again and engage the main threats ahead. Meanwhile, our front guys are taking most of the brunt. In fact, our ally is now taking rather a lot of hits. He's got shields, which I don't. Oh, what's that another? Tachyon lances, plasma cannon, zero point power, shield capacitors, neutronium materials, hyper shields, physics research, engineering research. Cool. I do wish it told you the, the the different military powers on either side. We are definitely losing ships, but I think it is mostly the little guys we're losing. The big guys are getting through, although it's the destroyers that are being hit right now, I think. Show me the total number. Yeah, Corvettes are down to just 59. 
but it's my cruisers and my corvettes which are the uh, disruptors. The enemy does have a lot of shields still. And we need those disruptors to hit by the time that these guys get into range with their um, long range guns. Because they have kinetic weapons which are terrible against shields but great against... Well, actually they're good against everything, it's just that the disruptors are better against shields. Still have over a hundred thousand combat power here though. Lots of missile coming in. We still have some shielding being provided by our allies. Oh here we go, these guys are now getting into range. You can see the big guns beginning to light up. Big three on the top. They have lots of other smaller guns around the sides but they need to get much closer before those can fire. Meanwhile up here the uh, cruisers and the destroyers still pinging away. 51 corvettes, 70 destroyers. And these guys are beginning to take a lot of casualties and they're going to start being destroyed now. We get out. There we go. Oh, and they had an admiral in this fleet. These are some pretty epic fights, I have to say. <laughs> Worth all that waiting to upgrade the fleet to this. So much technology is going to be in these debris as well. And that's all of those fleets gone. They have one fleet trying to run away, I think. But you guys are going to keep going unerringly on. Let's I'm sure we take out... Well, I think you are just going to take these things out. What are they? Transports. Ah. So we're going to knock out their transports before they have a chance to retake the beacon of stability. Where did my time ship go? You did actually warp out. You're back now. Hello, welcome back. Are you healed up? You are healed up. But I don't really want to move you in until we've dealt with the fortifications on these planets. Tech research, flak battery. Oh, this is also large. Oh, that's the anti uh, strike craft, which. Meh. Ooh, more ship hull points? Yes, please. That would do very, very nicely with my design. We are totally out of minerals and totally out of credits. Comes from having such a large fleet, I'm sure. <laughs> Situation log updated. It's just that the battleships are so slow. Did we get hyperdrive through? Is that still going? We did. We would be able to do the upgrades, but I don't think it's really worth it. I don't think we need to, particularly. Let's get these guys moving in. Grab some of this research. Juicy, juicy fallen empire research. Don't want to let this go to waste. Just above a hundred thousand, but we'll probably go below very, very soon. Are you guys actually going to shoot back, or is it just your escorts? I think it's just your escorts. Where did that eleven thousand fleet go? I am not seeing it. Oh, they might still be there. There are two 9,000s. There's one. Let's zoom in a bit. I think they're still trying to close the gap between us and the enemy. Their transports are just being shot out of the air. Heavy, heavy casualties for them. Boost the speed of it. Situation log updated. Debris analyzed. This time we got tachyon lances, neutronium materials, hyper shields, zero point power, plasma cannon, shield capacitors, physics research, and engineering research. Situation log updated. We're getting a whole bunch more research over there. We are down to 91,000. They are definitely taking a toll, but 
not as much of a toll as we are taking. <laughs> 5,000. Remaining on those guys. There we go. Yes, the battleship's in range. As soon as the battleships are in, it's like, dead. Research! More borders. Ah. Trait points plus one. Xeno cavalry. Let me still have that one. Targeted gene expressions. Army damage. Army health. Sure. Let's go for the Xeno cavalry. Oh, it's just those battleships are so slow. More analysis. Tachyon lances, zero point power, neutronium materials, hyper shields, physics, and engineering. We are down to a mere 686 fleet capacity being used. I bet we still dwarf the uh, next biggest, which is the FX Clanger. Yep. <laughs> Pathetic, inferior, and superior. Everyone has better tech than me, apparently. Though for how long? We will teach you respect. No, mate. You won't. <laughs> if anything, it will be I who teaches you respect of the young races. Analyzed. Right, I think that is all of their fleets dead now. If we zoom out slightly, we'll be able to have a look. Situation oh, there's still over 9,000 in there somewhere. Where are they? Oh, they're behind us. Are you still busy over here? Yeah, you still have three to go. What was in this one? Tachyon lances, neutronium material type shield, zero point power, and physics and engineering. 86,000 strength. What are you guys doing? You're trying to turn around to fight them. I think you're a bit confused. Research complete. Debris analyzed. Yeah, I think my fleet is pretty much just going whoa, whoa. Oh no, your spaceship's about to die. Horribly. <laughs> Run away! You splat. <laughs> what are you not doing? You're just being shot at without moving anywhere. See, you are literally just going around in circles. Dumb AI is complete. dumb. Tachyon, Neutronium, Hyper, and all the other stuff. Hyper shields complete. Oh yeah, we were actually researching hyper shields. Neutron torpedoes, assist research building cost. I think we'll go for the neutron torpedoes. Is that my scientist? Science ship under attack. Yeah. Anyway, I think that this is going to be the end of this episode, and probably of this series. We have beaten this fallen empire. I can't really be bothered to grind it out. To be quite honest, I'd much rather start a new game, though that probably won't be for another week or two, as I will be away. And I'd rather start afresh when I'm actually able to sit down and play through things at a more, or at a less vigorous pace. Um, I'm recording this probably about three weeks <laughs> before you actually see it. So I do apologise for that. I really much much usually much prefer like actually being able to talk to you guys as i'm playing it so we can get a bit of feedback going uh you can like help me make decisions or you can suggest different um tactics and ideas and uh, directions to go in unfortunately we haven't had the ability to do that in this first playthrough which is a shame it really does detract from the experience for me personally and i hope it does for you as well um i pretty sure this war is basically over. I mean, if I were to continue fighting it, I'd probably retreat these guys just to get them out of this looping AI bug so that we could hit these guys in the back and then wreck face from there. They're just pinging away at us because our fleet's kind of going, well, I don't know how to respond because we're being hit from three directions. And they just don't know where to face. They don't know to destroy that one, then destroy that one, then destroy that one. Um, 
So yes, I do hope you've enjoyed this series. I hope you've enjoyed these final last big clashes, particularly the one in the uh, Beacon of Stability, I think was a lot of fun. In fact, so was the, like, what was it, 60,000 against our 110,000 battle that we had going? Yeah, see, they, they knocked off about 10,000 strength without us doing anything just because we're stuck in that area. So clearly the game still has one or two bugs, although... Honestly, I am impressed with its stability. Uh, this is the first playthrough I've had. This is the first, well, significant amount of time I've actually spent with the game at all. Um, obviously, I'm hoping to spend far more of it in the future. You know how much I like European Oversalis 4. Crusader Kings, well, I haven't actually played that one on the channel, but I do, trust me. Uh, Hearts of Iron 4, that's another one. Um, so yeah, Paradox are really on fire right now. And this is proving to be a very, very strong showing for them. I know they have a couple of expansions uh, scheduled for release in the future. One of them may well be out, or nearly out, soon from when you get this video. Uh, one of them is due to focus more on diplomacy, which is very, very badly needed. Considering how good diplomacy in EU4 is, this seems like they've just copied from Civilization. And I don't know why Civilization has one of the weakest diplomacy systems of any game I've ever seen. Um, but the rest of the game, fantastic, absolutely love it. Uh, I really enjoy the way like the Fallen Empires kind of prove these late game threats. Well, it's like throughout the game threats, but something that you can surmount later on. This has been a very, very quiet galaxy. Almost everyone is pacifist. I rather hope that that changes in the future. Um, Although that does mean that clearly AI personalities work. They they do adhere to the personalities determined by their ethics. Um, so yeah, in the future, hopefully we'll have a little more interactivity on the geopolitical stage with alliances and federations and the like springing up. But for a learning experience, I think this has been pretty good. I'll, I'll take away much of what I've got from this and use it in the multiplayer game. And of course, in future, single player games. And I really do hope that you will join me for those. So if you are interested in that kind of content, please be sure that you have subscribed to the channel so you get any notifications of when those are going to occur. And of course, please do like the videos. Uh, it really does help out tremendously. It really helps this uh, channel grow. It's going from strength to strength. But hey, I can always ask for a bit more now, can't I? If you have any tips or advice for me um, for future games, obviously, uh, please do let me know in the comments. And likewise, if you just want to ask me any questions, you want to know about specific stuff, do you want to know why I did certain things or didn't do certain things, again, comments, that would be the place to ask it. Um, thank you very much for watching, I think is basically all I have to say, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.